you know, deciding to really take a, you know, serious decision on becoming a model and actually pursuing your dream of becoming a model, taking that seriously enough to say, hey, I actually want to have a modeling career. That's already a huge decision, right? But something that's even more important than you just making that one decision is the fact of which route are you going to take? Which route are you going to decide to focus on and take in order to become that model that you dream of becoming, in order to become that professional, successful, paid model? Which route do you want to take? Do you want to become a freelance model or do you want to become a model that's signed to a modeling agency? So in this video today, I'm going to be sharing the difference between a freelance model and a model that's signed to a modeling agency. And I want to share this information with you so you can make the right decision on what fits best with you you, your dreams, your goals that you have of becoming a model, and which one really fits into your lifestyle. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this information. Okay, so what is the difference between a freelance model and a model assigned to a modeling agency? First things first, a freelance model, let me just focus on freelance modeling first, okay? Because I think we kind of know everything about, you know, being assigned to a modeling agency, but I want to bring up a few uh, different things about that. I also have a bonus tip that I'm going to share towards the end of this video. So stick around for that one and I'll tell you all about it towards the end of the video. Freelance modeling is basically where you are in control of your modeling career. You are in full control of your brand. You are your brand, right? So as a freelance model, you do everything. You reach out, you pitch, you try to find opportunities to model, you try to find uh, paid opportunities. You are responsible for setting your own rates. Um, you are responsible for everything that goes on with actually having a model career. So let me kind of skim down those a little bit. When it comes to being a freelance model, you are responsible for your own brand. You are your brand. You have to take that seriously. So you are responsible for how you market yourself, how you put yourself out there. So therefore you can attract photographers, fashion designers, industry professionals that are looking for models uh, to do certain modeling work. That is all your responsibility as a freelance model. What is also uh, something that's different with freelance modeling is the fact that you are responsible for setting your rates. So for different modeling jobs, they're going to be different rates that you're going to require. Hey, are you going to be doing a photo shoot for one hour versus are you going to be on a set for three or four hours? What is that going to look like? Are you doing, you know, uh, some modeling that's required just photos? Or are you doing modeling that's going to require photos and videos? You are responsible for setting those rates. Also, what comes along with that, if you are setting your rates, you also have to set up the backside, that business side of your modeling career. How are you invoicing? So therefore you are getting paid and tracking that. So when it comes to the end of the year, you're able to have all of that information for tax purposes, things like that. How are you, you know, receiving your payments? Do you have a Stripe account set up to where all that money is going into that account, your business account when it comes to your modeling career? So as a freelance model, you really really, really have to decide what works best for you. And these are some of the things that you have to consider because you have to make sure that you are the one that's solely, solely responsible for setting your modeling career up for success. You are also responsible for investing in yourself. You finding a coach to help you become better with your posing, learning how to reach out to photographers the right way, learning how to respond, all of those things in terms of your, your intellectual skills and be, you know, bettering your skills as a model, that's your responsibility too. And the beauty of this is, as a freelance model, you control your career. Maybe there's a time where you're like, hey, I'm gonna be all for this summer. I really don't feel like modeling right now. So guess what? I'm not gonna take you on any deals. Versus if you were signed with an agency, that can be a little tricky sometimes. But as a freelance model, you control your career. You don't have to answer to anyone but you. So if you're somebody that's really disciplined, you have you know self-control, you have some self-discipline, you know how to con you know organize things, I think freelance modeling is a great opportunity and a great choice. Now, the flip side of that is being signed to a modeling agency. 
So we basically know what it is to be signed to a modeling agency, but just for the purposes of this video, uh, I want to compare the two. Now, as you may know, being signed to a modeling agency, that means you are under contract. Actually being signed to a modeling agency means that you have signed your name on the dotted line based on what that term is. Maybe it's six months, maybe it's a year, maybe it's two years, maybe it's five. That all depends on the modeling agency in which you are signing up with. So during that time, you are under contract with that modeling agency. That means a few things. Based on whatever that modeling agency has listed out in that contract, you have to abide by. There are certain things that you're not able to do. You're not able to take outside work. Every job that you receive and every job that you get paid for has to go through the modeling agency. Your agent has to know about it. Say for instance, somebody reaches out to you on Instagram and they say, hey, we have an upcoming photo shoot. We would love for you to be the model. What's your rate? If you are signed to a modeling agency, you have to send them through the modeling agency before you can actually book and get paid for that. They have to sign off on it. They have to approve it. They're going to have to go through all of these steps in order to get you as a model for that photo shoot because you are under contract with that modeling agency. Also, some of the good things about it is you're not responsible for doing the invoicing. You're not really responsible for finding all the modeling jobs. When you're assigned to a modeling agency, they're kind of like your backbone. You know, they're kind of like that person that's doing all this for you while you're just living your life, building your skills as a model. And they're finding the jobs. They're finding the opportunities for the castings and auditions for you to go to. All they do is communicate that with you. You show up, you do your thing, and you hope to you are able to get booked for the job. And and the rest is history. They're going to make sure they invoice the company. They're going to make sure they receive the payment, that you get your payment all as well. Also, another good thing about being signed to a modeling agency is they, they take care of that back end kind of legal stuff. Say, for instance, there has been a company that you went and modeled for, but you haven't received that check yet. Well, the agency is going to take care of that. They have the systems in place to be able to reach out to that company to make sure you're getting your check, even if it's been a little delayed. They can handle that for you. You don't have to handle that if you're a freelance model. So it's very, very important to take that into consideration. As I said, hey, what is your lifestyle like? Are you busy? Are you working a lot? Do you have the time to manage your own modeling career? You know, if, if not, then maybe freelancing isn't the best option right now, or it's an opportunity for you to learn more about freelance modeling so you can take care of your own modeling career. Now, if you're like, hey, I think I have what it takes to get signed to a modeling agency. I'm really busy right now. I really want somebody to kind of manage all of that for me. Well, getting signed to a modeling agency may be the best option for you. What's like, like I said, it all comes down to what your lifestyle is like and how you can manage it all. Here's a bonus tip. Depending on which one, you can always do either or, right? So if you start out as a freelance model, that does not mean that you will never be able to be signed to a modeling agency. You can actually start managing your own career, get noticed by modeling agencies or apply to modeling agencies, and they can still sign you on to be a signed model under their agency and vice versa. Say for instance, you tried or you're currently signed to a modeling agency. You're like, you know what? Things aren't going as I planned. I think I can do a little bit more uh, on my own. I have a lot of people reaching out to me, you know, on my other social profiles. I want to manage my own career. You can also do the reverse. You can, you know, sign off from that modeling agency based on the contract and you can start taking control of your own career and become a freelance model. I don't want you to think that there's only one way to actually make your dream of becoming a model a reality. You have options, especially for my petite women, my, you know, curvy plus size. I like to say my, my very diverse and unique aspiring models out there to maybe you're someone who's been trying over and over again to get signed to a model agency and you're either being rejected, they've ghosted you from your application, you haven't heard anything back, or you know, you're just like, okay, what am I supposed to do? What do I take? You know, what steps do I take next? And maybe you're just so unique that you don't fit into that agency's mold. And that's okay. You can start your own career as a freelance model and you can control that. And I guarantee the better you get at controlling your own career, those agencies will come back and you'll be able to either get signed to agency or continue doing your own thing as a freelance model. So 
I really hope that you found value in this video with me telling you the difference between a freelance model and being signed to a modeling agency. I want you to have this information in front of you so you can make the best decision that you need to make for your lifestyle and your modeling career. Now, if you have found value in this video, please like and subscribe. Also, I want you to comment below and tell me which one are you leaning more towards? Do you feel like you're more of a freelance model or a model that is, you know, either going to be signed to a modeling agency, you really want to be signed to a modeling agency, or which one are you kind of floating between? I really want to know. So make sure you comment below in the comments. Let me know which one you are more drawn to doing and if if you have any other questions or any other topics that you would like for me to answer here on my channel please put those below in the comments make sure you comment below and let me know your thoughts thank you so much for tuning into my channel i'm deanna fears a model developer and on-camera confidence coach uh, i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye